a bit blustery, but um, uh, I'm here with uh, Roadkill. He's just getting some stuff out of the car. There he is. Look. Probably a bit windy on the old uh, microphone. Sorry about that. So we're just going to grab our stuff and go and check out my usual spot in the woods and see what it's like for a weekend of wild camping. Might be a little bit too windy for trees. We'll have to see. I'm in the, uh, I'm in the hammock. Hope you're all well. And uh, here's Roadkill. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, there's Roadkill's tent over there. We're back in the woods at Gothland. And you can see behind me the hammock setup. I think I've got that quite well. There's tree huggers on there, onto the tree. A lot of people complain about the webbing on the DD hammocks. This is the DD travel hammock and they say that it's not very good but I find it's actually fine if you feed it through the tree, ha tree huggers and tie it off and it acts as a drip line. You can see how long that is. Uh, it'll act as a drip line so if it happens to rain then the water will run down that and not into the hammock. So I, I actually don't understand what people are cribbing about. Anyway I'm just going to switch the camera around and show you what's going on front of house. So I've got the stove out. It's about, we've got beer on the go. There we go. Purple Panther, little special, can't beat it. Right. Purple Panther. Cheers. Ching! Right, now. Sorry, just taking a drink. Down there, I've also bought a new toy, which is a Billock. And I got it on eBay, cheap as chips, about eight quid and a couple of quid delivery. Don't know how long it'll last, but I just thought it might be good for. Instead of having a machete for sort of like clearing bits of land and stuff like that, you know, for grasses and and also for hacking little branches out of trees and so on. I've also had a go at making my own fire lighters. So that little cotton pad on there is loaded with kerosene barbecue fluid. I put it on the billock so I can then feed it into the stove and then feed the stove with wood. Because it's definitely tea time. Evening campers, and in case you haven't gathered, oldest friend has also turned up. Well, yeah, when I see us. <laughs> <laughs> With his other little friend, hello, trouble. Oh, there she is, nose to the camera. Hello, say hello, say hello. Morning campers. <coughs> There's Ainsley's pop up quencher. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Quencher, sorry, I always call it a quencher. That worked really well. I was so snug in that hammock last night. Use your Spanish word, Carl. Quitcha. All right, Rob. All right. What's your tent, Rob? Is it a Van Gogh? Coleman. Coleman. Mustard. Beautiful morning here in the woods. It is. Sun's peeking through the trees. And everything is good in the world. And everything is good in the world. And Nita is, she's doing something over there. I think she's found a stump to entertain herself. Yeah.
Look at her go. Pull it, Nate. Pull it. Good girl. Get it out. Did you put that stuff on your face? Yeah. yeah. I did it before I came uh, yesterday and I got it on my lips and it's burning like hell. If you're wondering what he's talking about, he's talking about... Um, lipstick. Yes. He's got some new lipstick and he's been trying it on. For men. Just for men. <laughs> Mid repellent, really. Talking to a rouse cow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you won't have picked up on this, campers, but Rob's been on fire this weekend. It's like he's had a sense of humour transfusion. He's developed one. <laughs> We're just about to cook breakfast. Got our little twig stoves on rocks with foil for ash cans safety first smile for the camera Nita <laughs> look at her yeah well that's taking a little turn You alright, Roadkill? Aye. Just trying to get all snuggled, didn't she? Yeah. Afternoon, campers. Apologies for the wind noise. I've just made this little bench. So there's two cross struts, two base struts and then uh, four or five logs on the top all pinned in place to stop it from rolling about want we'll to have a little pew rob yep. and tell us what the ver verdict is very comfortable thank you very creaky though <laughs> creaky because of the overweight on it i think yeah oh, that was because he was sat on it oh is that what it is is, is yeah. it giving it a bit of give Quite chuffed with that. I'm going to have to make one now for... Uh, Nita? Yes, for Actually, Nita. Actually, yeah, I was just going to say that. You need to make <laughs> And uh, we should be joined by the Polish princess before too long, who will be parking over there somewhere. Well, quite by surprise, the Polish princess has actually turned up. <laughs> Stop calling me that. I like the Polish princess. It's a good name. What does your top say? This uh, way up. From above. Eat from above. That's from above. Oh, no, it looks like. It, it does look. It's like eat it from says above from eat here. From above. Eat from above, yeah. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> Don't go down, eat from above. <laughs> yeah, that's what it means. I'm, I'm not here even five minutes and you're going there already. You know? <laughs> Nowhere we haven't been before. Hello, so this is not Carl, this is Ainsley, um, oldest friend. <laughs> and. Just doing a little video. Uh, Nat's arrived. Say hello, Nat. Hello, Nat. <laughs> uh, Nat's um, just putting up a tent from Poland. Sorry, Nat's from Poland putting up a tent. Um, we got Robert there. Rob. Robert. Robert. That's why I'm in trouble, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Little pooch who's happy to see Nat. And uh, obviously, uh, Carl the Cleaner. More than just a cleaner. More than just a cleaner. Who is having a bifter. A <laughs> bifter. And so here we are on a nice sunny day. It is a bit windy, but the good thing is that it'll uh, blow away the midges. Because um, they're a bit bitey, aren't they? They are a bit bitey. Uh, Rob's drinking clear Coca-Cola. Uh, oh dear. Tap it in. There's a bad moon rise. Just use the back of the axe. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As though you didn't know about that. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, you will. 